Pastor Teresa, why do we stop and not take the best step? Because we're afraid of offending. Nobody wants to offend. No one wants to lose a friend. No one wants to lose a family oh. member. No one wants to be that uncomfortable, weird one at work. Hey, come no. on. No one wants to be that one. So we're ashamed that, of his work. Amen. 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 Nobody wants to be the Jesus freak. Hallelujah. Amen. I am the Jesus freak. I'm already Amen. freaked out for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too Hallelujah. late for me. Yes. Amen. 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 I want everyone to know what I stand for. Amen. If you're shining and your light and your salt, they should yes. be yes. able to see it in you. Yes. Amen. 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 want to wear the wristband great i've got all of them but are your actions matching what you're proclaiming yes. come on so put on a christian t-shirt and then go out and cuss the driver or somebody beats you in the parking lot in walmart amen oh uh-huh why do you think i think about this how many people i encounter that say they love jesus they love the word and they cuss like a sailor amen why do you think the word talks about lukewarm. Yes. Because if you're claiming to be a Christian and you you cuss like a sailor, then everybody around you, well, he's a Christian and he cusses, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. You proclaim to be a child of the Most High. You are representing Jesus. You are representing Amen. our Amen. Father. Amen. So when he talks about if anyone is ashamed of me or my words, or my words, what does the Bible say? Okay, so we've established which God you believe in. Yes. Now, what is it that you believe? Yes. yes. What is it you believe? If you find someone that's truly saved, and when I say truly saved, you ask them, are you saved? The answer should be immediate. Yes. Yes, right. I am. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. If it's anything other than that, it's, well, I was baptized when I was three. Well, I was sprinkled when I was, well, I go to church. Well, I'm Catholic. Hello. I'm Mormon. Hello. I'm whatever. Fill in the blank. Buddhist. No. The answer should be yes. I'm a child of the Most High. Amen. I am saved. Amen. I'm saved from death, hell, and the grave by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. He is my Savior, my Lord, and my King. Yes. Something along those lines should be the answer. Because when you're saved, you know it. And when you're saved, nobody can talk, talk you out of it. Amen? Amen. 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 No one can talk you out of it. If I ask you, any of you here, can I talk you out of your salvation? No. I am saved. I am saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Amen. Okay? Now, take another step. Do you believe in God's Word? Yes. Amen. Well, right. see how quick? Well, I believe. Well, I believe oh, you lost it. You no lost way. it. Ashamed of me or my words. How many, how many excuses do you hear? Well, the Bible's antiquated. Well, you know, it's written 2,000 years ago. Really, God didn't know what was going to happen That's today. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, man wrote it. Come on, sir. God couldn't equip the men through the Holy Spirit to write this. See, you think about all this stuff. Well, don't judge, don't judge. I can't tell you how many Christians come to me and say, don't judge. Right. Why do they say that? Because they've been told that themselves and they don't know how to defend it. Amen. They Amen. do not know how to defend it. Well, Bible says don't judge. I'm not judging. But I know what you're doing is against God's word. See, I don't have to be stupid to recognize stupid behavior. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. I used to be told a lot, I don't have children, so I don't understand. I don't have to I have children. I can tell a brat when I see one. I don't have to have the, have the child to understand. No, they're fixing to fall off that thing and bust their head because right. you won't bust their mind. Right. You see what I'm saying? Amen. You don't. People get so caught up in the, well, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. I'm not judging. I'm saying your behavior is wrong. This it is goes certain. against God's yes. word. It goes against God's word. Number one, you got to know what the word says. Amen. Amen. Start talking to Christians and ask them, have you read the Bible? Because most of them haven't. 
They may go to church when it's convenient. They may have went to church 20 years ago. Well, they may good. go on Easter and Christmas. Amen? Amen? They do not know what God's Word says. So who's failing? The body is failing. Right. Because, number one, you have to read God's Word to know what it says. Amen. So Amen. when the lie shows up, you recognize it immediately. Amen. That's why, what does the Bible tell us? To pray for wisdom. He tells us, pray for wisdom. I pray for wisdom. I pray for discernment. God, give me wisdom. Give me discernment. Give me wisdom. Give me discernment. So when that lie comes in, bam, I immediately recognize it. Uh -uh, that ain't of God. Come on. Amen. Have you ever seen something like that? You know something's off, something's Spirit, wrong. Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, uh uh, that ain't of God. It's on television, it's on Facebook, it's on YouTube, it's wherever. There's always just a little bit off. Well, if you are, if you are, see, the doubt, the doubt. What does the devil say? If you are the Son of God. See the doubt? If they can just plant a lie, you start to believe it. You start to believe it. And then the division starts. And see, what does people do? What do people do? They want to pick out what they like in here. I'm going to go somewhere I wasn't planning on going, but I'm, the Holy Spirit's leading me there, so I'm going. Yeah, amen. Uh, Tony and I watch a lot of YouTube videos on street preaching. Because when you see street preachers, they are bold, and a lot of them know how to knock those lies down quickly. Yes. So I like to learn. We like to learn from the street preachers. And one of the most uh, troublesome ones we have watched recently, and I guess because I'm not around these type of people, I don't understand how skewed the doctrine is out in the world. Yes. But uh, it was a group of street preachers and they went to Philadelphia to street preach and there was a, a black gentleman come up and he started just throwing a fit about, and I can't imagine anybody even thinking this way, but this is, this is how the world will get you off track. He said, I'm not about to worship a white Jesus. That blew me away. I've never heard of such. And then I've also talked to sisters in our church that said that every time they go somewhere, they have brothers or sisters trying to show them and prove to them that Jesus was black. Right. See, they're making it a race thing mm -hmm. instead of a Jesus thing. Right. Well, Jesus Jesus was black because he had the uh, feet of bronze. Well, yeah, he was in the sun <laughs> all the time, all day. Uh, he had hair of wool. Uh, Jesus was a Jew. Amen. He wasn't white. He wasn't black. He wasn't Hispanic. He wasn't, he wasn't Asian. He was a Jew. Amen. And ladies and gentlemen on the internet, we have all of this in our church. Amen. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. The true body of Christ. Amen. It's not a separate white church or a black church or a Hispanic Amen. church. It is the body of Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 So, but you think about the lie that that is. People are so focused on trying to make Jesus one color or another to divide, divide, divide. That's all that is. It's a lie. It's a lie. Like I said, Jesus ain't white. He ain't black. He's Jewish. And it doesn't matter if he's red, blue, green, yellow. He's our Lord and he's our Amen. Savior. And that's Amen. all that should matter. Amen. Amen. Alive from the pit of hell. Amen. So bold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't get caught up in that. If you're not ready, if you're not tuned in and reading God's word, those little, little things. Because everybody wants to say, oh yeah, I want I want Jesus to be my color of choice. I want him to be my sex of choice. My sex of choice. Come on. Listen, Jezebel. Hello. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All the women rising up. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Calling God a woman. Come on. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, oh, that gives me the. Straight from hell. Yes. That's a lie. Yes. That is emboldened. What do, what do women do? Look how silly, how ridiculous women have got. Yes. 
Jezebel is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. It started in the 60s. Mm -hmm. and, and just in the last five, ten years, it's gotten yes. crazy. It started with the, well, I don't have to wear a bra. Then it's my body. Amen? Right. Come on, man. My body lets me commit murder. That's right. My body, so I can do what I want to. I can murder what I want to in my body. No, it's God's body. Amen. Amen. It is Amen. God's temple. It is the Amen. temple for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I heard I heard uh, someone one time put a sister on on the uh, on the spot and say, Well, why don't they were talking about Planned Parenthood? Well, why don't you go raise one of those children? Hello, ladies, why don't you keep your legs shut?
have to draw that line in the sand and say, this is where I stand. This is it. And I do not come off my land, my line. And what does the word say? Having done all to stand, stand. stand. So it means I am not moving. So the people that say, oh, well, my religion is private. No, they've lost it because nowhere in the Bible does it say, no, it says go out and spread the good news. Go out and. Not in the world can be private. Absolutely. Amen. But what is that? That's, see, they, they fought the lie themselves. Well, it's private because if it's private, I don't ever have to defend it. Right. If it's private, it can be agreed so with this group of people when I'm with them. So but then when I'm over here with this other group of people, I agree with them too because this sounds good. See, they don't even have a line drawn. They're just being tossed to yep. and fro. Amen. Amen. They're lukewarm. And God ain't in that. Amen. God is not in that. He says, go out need to be the lamp on a lampstand. We need to be salt. We need to be light. We need to be different so the world knows where it's come. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.